how could she do this to her own son? A mother is supposed to love her son and be by his side no matter what. Joanna has no right to just decide one day that she wants to pick up and leave. I have done everything I am supposed to. I provide for my family. I pay for our rent. I make sure we have money for Joanna to put food on the table. I have given her everything she wants and needs. What more can I do? I've done it all. She has mentioned working, but she doesn't need to work. I have that covered. Less than 44% of women are in the workforce today. It's just the norm for her to take care of Billy and our home. Am I to blame for the fact that I put a roof over her head and paid for everything she needed? Should I feel guilty for playing my natural parental role? Now I have to learn how to take care of and raise my boy. What am I to do? I don't even know how to make French toast. I can't even look at her things anymore, so I'm just going to throw them all away. Start my new life, which only includes Billy and me. Now I realize that I might have reacted a bit poorly in regards to Joanna leaving. I overreacted. I upset at her. I upset Billy. I screamed and yelled and didn't even realize what was going on at the time. The way I reacted in front of Billy was unfair. I know now that I'm a better father than that. He keeps asking, where's mommy? And all I can tell him is that she needed a little time away. The question is, that is the hardest for me to answer is, does mommy still love me? I know that Joanna still loves Billy, but I'm not sure how to explain to him. I'm exhausted. I have to juggle my work as well as taking care of my child. I love my work and I love Billy. I guess my priorities are just going to have to change. In order to adapt to being a single father, I need to make some changes in my lifestyle. When Joanna was here, work came first for me. I stayed out late working or having a drink with my buddies so that I could provide for my family like a good father would do. That's at least what I thought back then. Now that I'm Billy's main caretaker, there's no more of this. Last night, Billy and I got into quite an argument. We screamed and yelled at each other, and I made my son cry. I couldn't believe it. When Billy told me he hates me, I said, I hate you back, you little shit. I've never felt so guilty for stirring up such a thing. I then explained to Billy that mommy still loves him, and she did not leave because of him. She left because of me. I told him that I pushed mommy away because I consumed consumed myself with my work, and I wanted her to be something that she was not. That was the situation, and Billy deserved to know. Today, Billy fell off the playground, and it was life-altering. My boy almost lost his eye playing on the playground. Am I to blame? I really don't know. Margaret was there too, and she has motherly instincts that I'm trying to develop, but her kid didn't fall off the playground. Why is that? Why did Billy have to fall? I ran with him in my arms all the way to the hospital. I, it felt like my life was on the line, and getting Billy care was the only thing that mattered to me. The doctor told me to leave the room when he was about to give Billy 10 stitches, but I went right back at him and I said, if you're going to do something to him, I'm going to be there with him. That's what type of parent I am. I will stick by my son's side no matter what. I will never leave him. I know that I'm making progress towards becoming a mother and a father for Billy. I'm only one of 748 men in the U.S. who's a single father. I really have changed since Joanna left. 
I've become a better person. I've become the right person to be Billy's father. I still cannot comprehend how a mother can leave her child, but I now know that I contributed to her reasoning for leaving. How dare she leave for 18 months with no word and one day come back and expect to just take her son back? Joanna thought Billy was better off without her. No kid is better off without their mother, but I have become that figure for Billy. He doesn't need her anymore. I lost my job to become the person who I wanted and needed to be for Billy. I spent mind-blowing amounts of money to fight for my son because Billy is my everything. I deserve to be his father 100% of the time. In court, my lawyer continuously asked Joanna, were you a failure at the one most important relationship in your life? I don't know the answer to this question, but all I know is that she is the one who chose to leave her son behind. She neglected her child, and Billy will be forever changed because of this. After taking care of Billy for 18 months, I now know how to make French toast.